Hi ladies and gentlemen, Morino Ravenberg here. Uh, this is a video on a visitation from an angel last night. Uh, long story short, I was visited by the angel Monahiel. Monahiel is an angel that is mentioned in the Order of the Pentacles, the Great Turkey of Solomon. And his name is written, I think, on one of the Pentacles, specifically the Pentacles regarding Venus. Um, the third Pentacle of Venus, this is it. This is what it looks like. I think his name is written on there in Hebrew, but I'm not sure. In any case, in the description, it states that this, this pentacle is uh, good for attracting the love of a person and that um, its angel Monahiel should be invoked when Venus is at its strongest on the day and in the hour of Venus, either at 1 o'clock in the morning or at 8 o'clock. Um, I'm not sure about that. Hold on for a second. Uh... Eight. Yeah, at one o'clock or at eight. Now it doesn't say in the morning time, so just at one o'clock. I think uh, either when Venus is at its strongest, okay, so either in the first hour of the day or the eight. But regardless, uh, this was very interesting, okay. This happened to me last night, or better said in the morning time. Um, it's afternoon in my current location, <coughs> and it was interesting. Uh, I I dreamt that I was um, I was in a densely vegetated area, just a place with a, that has uh, a lot of um, forest and it's a, it's densely wooded. Okay, a place that has a lot of trees, had a lot of trees and a lot of grass and all of that vegetation. It just looked outside here in my location, generally speaking. And then uh, at a certain point, I at a certain point I. I ended up in, um, I found myself in a dark room or a series of dark rooms or a dark environment in any case where I couldn't see anything, I could barely see something. And it, uh, that place consisted of a bunch of corridors and a bunch of narrow pathways. And I just took one corridor after the other, I went through one hallway after the other and at a certain point I came eye to eye with Monachiel, the angel Monachiel that's mentioned. And that was, the whole thing was a bit unsettling. Why? Because Monahiel showed me, I think it's, uh, he showed me his, his dark side, you know, his Saturnian side. This is normal. Saturn and uh, Monahiel is Saturnian, by the way. He's not Venusian. Monahiel, uh, he's, uh, he's associated with Venus uh, in this pinnacle, okay, according to the Greater Key of Solomon. But again, he is not uh, Venusian. He's Saturnian, he corresponds to 17 degrees in Aquarius and he's exactly like uh, Dantalion in terms of, he's almost exactly identical uh, to Dantalion. Uh, you can look on, up, uh, you can look, up, look it up on my blog if you want to know, the Guerrero Spirit Dantalion in terms of skill set and uh, appearance even. The only difference is that Dantalion doesn't have, uh, that Dantalion has many faces around him. But Monachiel doesn't, okay, around his uh, initial face, his initial head. But Monachiel doesn't. And the, the, the experience was a typical Saturnian experience. It was mildly, not mildly, but let's just say a smidgen or a tiny or wee bit um, unsettling. I remember, why? Because um, when I was at the end, when I came face to face with um, Monachiel, I woke up. And I woke up literally exactly at 3.33 a.m. in the morning. We're talking about 3.33. And I know that this was a reference to Saturn, okay? Uh, Bina in the Kabbalah, as Saturn is called. And there you had it. Monachiel was standing right beside my bed. And what made it a bit unsettling too is that Monachiel showed me his Saturnian dark side, which was kind of stereotypically demonic in appearance. He just looked like a regular angel. Like I said, he looks exactly like the Italian. An angel, um, but he doesn't have a lot of faces around him like that Italian, dressed in a light blue robe. But he showed me his demonic face with, and all of a sudden his face was completely black, you know, and looked, it looked simply eerie, okay, it looked a bit, it looked a bit creepy and scary, and I was like, oh, okay. And that's what made it a bit unsettling, but for the rest that's all, okay, no, I was, I never, I was never, nor will I ever be afraid or anything like that. It was just a bit unsettling and I was like, okay. And Monahiel didn't say a lot, okay. He simply offered his services to me. And um, 
that's when I basically locked him up and everything because I remember back when I was um, in the dream, okay, um, <clears throat> when I was in that narrow corridor, okay, those series of narrow corridors, all I kept hearing was Monahiel. And I knew that I heard that name before somewhere or that I read that name before. That's when I looked it up. I was like, my reaction when I woke up was like, um, after I was done with him, was like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with his name. His name is either from the Ars Paulina or, any, or something. I've read his name before, Munahil. I've seen him somewhere before and boom. It was in, uh, it wasn't in the Ars Paulina, obviously. It's in, it was in the Greater Key of Solomon. And I thought to myself, I knew I read your name somewhere. And um, he... Um, he told me too that I was in the tree of life, okay, but it's funny how he phrased it. He phrased it as, um, my Lord Samuel also phrased it as um, the uh, Kabbalistic version of, the, of um, Yggdrasil, the, the Norse world tree. Um, and he simply phrased it like that. I found it funny that they phrased it like that instead of just saying the tree of life, but whatever. They just said uh, you were in the Kabbalistic version of Yggdrasil right now, or you write uh, just down. That's why you were in the Kabbalistic version of Yggdrasil just now. And um, I knew it then. I thought to myself, I highly doubt that, um, that Monachil is Venusian. And I told him, okay, I'll, um, I'll uh, get back to you when I'm seriously interested in working with you. And he was like, okay, no problem. And after I looked him up and I did all the traditional homework, I noticed that he was Saturnian, exactly the exact same degree as Dantalian. Okay, indicating clairvoyant faculties and all of that. Um, you can read the rest of the article, article if you want to know other related details. Okay, I um, I decided not to work with them because I I just don't need anyone right now like that. Um, the guy that I currently work with for clairvoyant purposes is Raziel, the Archangel Raziel, and Raziel does just fine. I evaluated everything. I put everything in perspective for myself, and I was like, nah, I don't need him right now. Um, I mean, he does have a lot to offer, he does bring a lot to the table, but I just don't need him right now. Raziel's doing fine, and as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, Raziel is doing just fine, and Raziel is giving me results. So, I don't see any need to switch over to Monahiel. But I still appreciate um, him... Um, I, I still appreciate him offering his services to me to begin with, and... The uh, entire experience was very, the experience was interesting, I'm not going to lie, this is the first time that something like this has happened to me, and this is primarily due to my, um, the first pinnacle of the sun that's tattooed here, my pinnacle is doing its job, my tattoo is doing its job very well, and I'm pleased to see that, okay, because this was a clear, this was clear contact, and it was intense, intense in a way that I, I've never felt that, and I've been an occultist for, for how many years? Three years? I engage with spirits on a near daily basis, literally on a near daily basis. Or all, not even not nearly near daily, I, I engage with spirits on a daily basis. And this is the first time that something that this intense has happened to me. That a spirit approached me like that to ask me, usually when spirits approach me because they want to work with me, it's simply me seeing something out of the corner of my eye or me seeing some wave of energy passing me by and then boom, the guy or the spirit present there will be standing there and, and offering his services to me but but to invite me over, for Monachiel to invite me over to Bina okay, Kabbalistically speaking while I was uh, basically dormant, while I was asleep and at such an incredible power, when Bina was at its strongest, definitely, most likely, at 3.33 at 3.33 a.m. in the morning, is um, definitely very interesting. And um, and yeah, he um, it's he he did he does make an impression on me. I'm not gonna lie, Monachiel is uh, Monachiel has made quite a the impression on me. But nevertheless, okay. I deliberated that early in this morning, I think at 6 a.m. I deliberated nearly for half an hour or an hour whether I should work with him. But after careful consideration, I, I said to myself, I'm sorry. And I said to him too, thanks for the offer, but I respectfully decline. And he was like, okay, I'm always here if you change your mind or anything like that. I just don't see the need to do so. So I just wanted to share that with you guys on video. The article 
uh, says the same more or less everything that I've explained it says the same the article that you can find in the description below but you're still welcome to read that of course bye